Hi and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Canson Sea Green Sketchbook. So this is about 180 GSM. I got it at a really good uh, price of 50% discount. I will leave the link of the website um, below in the description box. They had an annual sale where I picked it up at a really good price. Otherwise, normally if you try to buy it, it's going to be 450 INR per um, sketchbook and uh, this is imported in india it is coming from france and this is about 180 gsm and there are about 35 30 sheets inside and it's a5 size so let's unbox this and do some sketch inside and see if um, this sketchbook can what all it can hold like i'm planning to do a mixed media artwork in this to figure out how good it holds all the um, layers that i'm going to add So I find A5 size pretty handy to do everyday sketchbook um, art and this is what the paper is inside. It's white, um, not like pure white, pure white would be this. So this is a little, um, I won't say it's ivory, uh, not completely off white, so something in between. So this is how the paper is. Uh, you can see a little bit of good green on it. So that's nice and uh, the thickness is also good. And it has perforations over here so if you're going to make a sketch and you want to tear it out and you want to pin it up either on your um, wall or you want to put it up on um, some project or somewhere else that you need then it's very easy to like tear these off so let's create a very fun artwork in this and see how nice this paper is the first page of a sketchbook is generally a little intimidating um, but um, I think you should just get that out of the way and create something and don't really look for perfection. Uh, so what I'm going to create over here is a dolphin. Um, I have a rough sketchbook in which I've drawn out a few dolphins and I'm just going to pick one of these and um, create it on my sketchbook over here. I like all of them. Uh, this one looks a lot fun. Uh, this one I just added some glasses, this one a hat and I really like this one as well. So I'll probably make one of these um, two and we're going to use some mixed media. I want to use some watercolor, some gouache, some watercolor crayons and a lot of these different things and pencils and let's see um, if I'm able to do a lot of layers. So I've got my pencil and uh, I'm going to start drawing my dolphin now. So I'm drawing pretty light. I'm not putting a lot of pressure uh, because I really don't want um, any pencil marks to be shown. So that's um, an important thing that you should keep in mind when you're using any sketchbook if, if you're going to be doing like painting on top of it. Like I'm going to be doing some paints. So I don't want the pencil marks to be shown. And even with the color pencil, you can see that there's a, such a very beautiful texture of um, the pencil marks that are seen. I, I really like that. So if you're going to be Using this just for sketching, that's also perfectly fine. It's got a really nice texture, so it's quite nice that way. So I'm going to get a putty eraser to remove um, all the extra pencil marks that I've created. I couldn't find my putty eraser, so I'm just using a regular one. Um, I just have to make sure that none of the um, dust, the eraser dust stays on my sketchbook and otherwise it's just going to mess it up so much. So this way, um, when you like get a new sketchbook, if um, you feel very intimidated to start with a new page, then I would highly recommend you to just create some sketches in a rough sketchbook uh, or on some like print papers. And then you can um, go about creating um, the final piece, like how I created these different dolphins over here. Um, it gives you a good idea in terms of like uh, what you can recreate on this and you you don't feel very scared i would say to start using your sketchbook so i'm going to grab some paints and um, i've got like a lot of gouache already on my palette so i'm also going to use them up um, i've also got a metallic set which i really like maybe we'll add some splashes of that and um, if you are familiar with gouache you will know that you don't really need to keep washing off the colors from the palette um, so it's really useful that way 
so i've got a lot of art supplies i'm just going to mix everything up i'm also going to be using some color pencils on top um today to see if this paper can hold it mm, i don't think it can hold um marker pens we will try a few maybe to do um some detailing and see if it can hold that so dolphins are generally a little grayish but i feel like adding a little bit of blue to them so that uh, there is some life to it so i'm going to use um, these colors which is the blue fin and the deep sea you can use anything that you feel like don't feel like um, you know don't feel that way that okay if this is in the video then i have to follow the same style you don't have to do that you can create what you like in your own way you don't have to do everything um what i am doing in fact i am just going with the flow creating random uh things a dolphin is not really this color but i'm just going to do it anyway so it's just a way of you know experimenting in your sketchbook creating a lot of fun things and that's how you end up creating like original art this has been something that i've been um trying to do for a really long time right now and making sure that i don't get too influenced by um images by other artists work and i can just create something which is a lot more original so i've given one layer right now um i'm not giving a very very deep layer in terms of like watercolors because i feel like the paper is buckling a little bit i'm not sure how much it can hold which is why i i'm giving a very light wash only now i'm taking the next color which is the deep sea such a pretty color so I'm just going to drop you know, some spots of these, let it like merge with each other. We'll just let that but dry out. Um, this one I'm using is a, is a mop brush and it does hold a lot of water. <laughs> so if um, it bleeds through, we will know the reason in some time. It's because of my brush. It is so far not really bleeding through. Um, hopefully the paper doesn't like buckle up too much. So while this dries, I'm going to just mix up a couple of colors for our water. Um, let's use this seaside and ocean and we'll also add in a little bit of green here and there. So I'm going to use the same palette only for this. So we'll start with this color of the seaside. I love these um, palettes. This is by Prima. I started off with their tropicals and uh, this one is called this the currents and i absolutely love it it's just so much fun to create um you know art with these colors just going to leave a little bit of like white space around because my um watercolors haven't really dried out inside the dolphin like you can see over here it's merging with my water so i, I want to leave a little bit of gap or you should make sure that you, you know let it completely dry out and then paint but i don't have that patience and i don't want to use a hair dryer also i feel like um let it be a little more spontaneous it's okay if they all merge together um i want to create something interesting i think something interesting will definitely come out of it that way so I've given one layer of this color called seaside if you don't have the same palette then you can just use a nice sky blue or a cobalt blue um, a teal blue will also be very very nice for this i'm going to now pick a little bit of this color called the ocean uh, no i think i picked the wrong color so very greenish i'm picking up this color called the ocean there's one called the blue whale so maybe when i make a whale in another video i will choose that color for that so my background is still wet which is why i'm able to add um blocks of these colors we'll just wait for it to merge you can see how beautifully the colors have merged and some areas it's not and that's fine completely you know it, let it be that way we want to add a little more layers and see how the whole thing comes out we also want to add a little bit of green so i'm going to use there's a sea grass and a sea green i think and there's also turkish sea and a caribbean sea i think we will use the sea grass it looks very interesting for me so picking out some of that, let's just add it here and there.
With the green, if it's not merging, you can use like a little bit of water and spread that around. I don't want too much water, so just near the edges. Like over here, it's completely dried, so you can see my paper is fully buckling. So I have used only two layers of watercolor, so I think three layers now, but the water um, I think it's a little high for this paper because it's only 180 GSM. So I would recommend you to do maximum two layers or at the most three, not more than that, because this is a lot of um, water, you know, it's not able to really take it because it's like a spiral book. I'll just show you from this side what I mean by the buckling. You can see how much of it has come up over here. You no, know, my finger can literally go through. So I'm now going to wait. Uh, you can see my colors are just moving around. I'm going to wait for this to completely dry. And once it's dried, we'll add in some layers, some details. We'll use some gouache maybe and some uh, color pencils and crayons if required. And then we'll add some uh, details to finish this up. So this is how it is when it's dried. Uh, the paper is buckling up a lot. So um, it's not really created a problem, but there has been a little bit of seepage at the back. So I would not recommend you to use it for like a lot of watercolor layers. I think one or maximum two should be good um, because it's 180 GSM. Ideally for um, watercolors, you should have 300 GSM. So I did go a little overboard, uh, but that's okay. I, I just wanted to experiment and have fun. So I'm just gonna put these clips on because then it becomes much easier to hold the paper down. So, all right. So it's not 100% dried. Um, so I'm going to just grab a little bit of color pencils and add in some details. And uh, we'll probably also add some gouache and add some like nice thick details to it. So I'm going to pick up some dried gouache which is there i just need to like activate it um, by putting in some water it becomes so easy and we'll just add in some texture i'm just going a little crazy i've been like um learning from a lot of different kinds of artists and trying a lot of different kinds of techniques and i just want to like um experiment and bring about like a different style to my work and see where it takes me so that's what sketchbooks are for they are meant for you to do a lot of experiments like a lot of experiments I'm not even thinking anything right now at this moment i'm just going with the flow so this paper does take in um gouache it's quite nice the flow is good so if you want to just use this paper only for gouache, that is very nice as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of grey which is there over here to add in some depth to uh, my dolphin. We'll mix some blues to it. This is too dark. So we'll just run it by. Maybe add a little bit more blue to it. Like I was saying, I'm not doing um, a realistic rendition. I'm just doing my version of it, um, almost like a cartoon. So, which is why I'm just adding like a lot of different details to it here. My idea um, whenever I get a new sketchbook is to just figure out what all the sketchbook can do. You know, I, I don't have to um, go by the norm. I don't have to go if it is only for pencils and I don't want to use it just for that. I want to experiment with the paper because I like the texture of this a lot. Canson, I'm a big fan of Canson um, paper in general. I've been using their um, watercolor sheets for the longest time, um, uh, which is why any Canson product which is there I, I like to just take it to the edge you know, I like to do some crazy things with it to find out um, to what extent I can work with it so let's just add some yellow because I feel like there's just too much of green and blues So I'm going to use now um, a color pencil to add in some details. 
you don't really need to do that you can also use like a black pen and add details uh, but i want to add um, i'll probably try with a dark brown pencil if it doesn't show up too much then i'll use a black so i've got a couple of color pencils here let's start off with the brown and we'll see how it looks if it doesn't look too good then we'll switch to a black i think i like black somehow i'm biased <laughs> towards that if you've, if you've seen my work you've seen that no matter what i create i always give it like a nice outline now that's just my style you don't have to do that you can just go ahead and create your own thing you don't like doing an outline just don't do it you want to create something else create that let's add some texture like it's still wet that's why my color pencil these are water soluble color pencils which is why you can see that it is really creating a very beautiful uh, blend like it's blending in the water so well this is the fin at the back so i'm just doing it a little darker so pretty i love how this has come out it looks so cute so now i think i should add a little bit of red or an orange uh, because this looks it looks good but maybe i'll add like some flowers let's just imagine there are some flowers floating around this very beautiful dolphin. And now maybe I can use a, a brown um, pencil. So this is what the artwork looks like. I am going to just wait for this to completely dry out uh, because these yellows are still pretty wet and I want to show you how this looks uh, when it's completely dried. You can see how wet it is. Um, and this hopefully, I know I'll also keep like some weight on top to make sure that the paper is like completely gone down and it does not have this up and down layer that it has right now. Um, so it's much easier um, to <laughs> see the whole thing in totality. So this is how it looks when it's all dry and I really love it. I'm so happy with the sketchbook and I think it can do a lot of interesting things. So I'm going to just bring it closer. You can see the beautiful texture of the paper and um, it does take in like a lot of layers, which is a really good thing. You may not really use it for so many layers, but I just wanted to put a lot of layers to show you um, how much it can take. So it did bleed in a little bit. It's also because I put a lot of water, um, but uh, I think this is a very good uh, sketchbook for you to get. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video and it was useful for you to know if this sketchbook will suit your needs. And thank you so much for joining me in today. I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.